Are you feeling stiff and sore after a day of traveling? Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa, and today's class is gonna be perfect for you. We are covering full head to toe routine that will have you feeling amazing and ready for your day. So let's jump right into it. So starting standing, Maybe move your feet a little wider than hip distance apart. Our hips, our mid back tend to get pretty stiff and sore from sitting, whether you were driving or in a plane. So let's bend our left knee, sink those hips back, and you're just gonna gently go from one side to the next, gently loosening up those inner thighs, using your breath and just float from one side to the next. Do you notice a difference from one side to the other? This might feel really good and you wanna leave it here. If you would like to add on, the next time that we go over towards the left hand side, that right hand can come to your thigh and the left arm is gonna to reach towards the sky. You can look up, you can look down, send those hips back, left arm reaches up and back and then we'll just switch. So that left hand comes to your thigh, right arm reaches up. And we're thinking of that breath. We're breathing all around our rib cage, opening up our mid back that gets a little extra sticky. Good, floating from one side to the next. Nice work for three, two, last one, nice job. And then we'll scoot everything back together, pressing down into your feet. We wanna be really careful not to over arch from our low back. We wanna keep that rib cage over our pelvis. Inhale, open up, squeeze your shoulder blades together, maybe gaze up. And then we're gonna round out, send the hips back, come into a little squat, tap the forearms in front. Press into those feet, inhale, open up, squeeze those shoulder blades. Round it out, nice. Open up, squeeze the shoulder blades, broaden through the front of your chest, and then tap, round it out. Nice work, moving in and out, and really feeling the shoulder blades come together as we come up, and then as you round forward, those shoulder blades are moving along that rib cage in your mid-back. Open up, we're gonna do three, two, looking up at the sky. Nice job. Last one. Good. And then pressing into those feet. Now, if you happen to have a chair over there or a bench, we're gonna take our right leg and put your right leg up onto that. Very careful we're not overarching from our back. So we're gonna take that left hip and just gently tuck your left hip underneath. And then take your right knee and scoot that right knee forward. We'll start to feel a little bit of a gentle pull. Left hand comes to the outside of that right leg and just gently twist to face the side. And then sweep that right arm back in front and then open it back up again. Bring it back, inhale towards center. Twist, open it up. Nice, let's do one more time. Really rotate from the rib cage, those hips stay facing forward and then bring it back through towards center. We'll take our right hand to our hip. That left arm is gonna reach up over towards the side. We still have a gentle tuck of that hip underneath and then bring the elbow towards your left hip. Inhale, bend over towards that right hand side. Come back up, nice work. Two more times over here. Nice, last one. Good job, straighten out through that front thigh. Now we're gonna hinge the hips, so really lift the tailbone up. We wanna be real careful we're not rounding down. And then you're gonna slide forward and then pull yourself, come back up. A little slide, hinge forward and lift back up. And you're going just till you feel that little bit of a pull. Bring it back up, nice work. Next time that you go forward, we're gonna hold here and then take that right leg, think of the whole leg, we're gonna rotate it in towards the middle and then rotate it to the outside. Keep that tailbone lifting towards the sky as we're rotating that leg in and rotate it out. Nice, for three, two, last one. Feeling all different parts of the back of that thigh. And then we'll come back up. 
and notice left side versus right side. What are you feeling? Hopefully things are starting to loosen up. Now we'll take that left foot. You can put it up on your chair or on your bench. We wanna make sure the hips are facing forward. Gentle tuck of that right hip underneath. Rib cage stays over our pelvis. Right hand to the outside and just a gentle twist. Left arm reaches behind and then sweep it back in front. Good, use your breath, exhale, open. Inhale, bring it back in front. Open it up. Nice, bring it back in front. Good, last time, rotate from that chest, nice gentle breath in. Bring it back through towards center. Our left hand comes to our hip, reaching up out of the waist. The right arm bends over towards the left hand side. Right elbow to right hip. Lift up and over. Nice breath. And drop it back down. And just seeing if you can go right to the side versus this twisting coming down. Lift back up. Nice work. We'll do one more on this side. You might even notice that standing leg is like, ooh, I'm getting a little bit of a workout in those glutes. Straighten out that left leg. Now we square those hips up. So pull your left hip back, lift the tailbone up, slide forward just till you feel that little bit of a pull, and then pull yourself, come back up. Hinge forward for a little pull, and then come back up. Nice work. Is one hamstring the back of your thigh tighter than the other side? Um, just glide in and out, sitting. Our hamstrings can get pretty tight. If we're stressed about traveling, that can also make our muscles feel really tight. Sometimes it's not just the muscles themselves, our nervous system. So breathing and some gentle nerve glides is a great way to affect those. Awesome, this time when we fold forward, we're gonna hold here. And then take that right leg, rotate the whole leg in, and then rotate that leg out. And you'll notice you'll feel pulling in different spots along the back of your thigh with this one. Gentle roll in and roll out. Nice. Keep lifting that tailbone for three, two, last one. Come all the way back up. Both legs stand down and notice. Left side, right side, how's everything feeling? So this next one that you're gonna open up our hips, we can do it standing, or if you wanna do sitting down, I'll show you in an option. If you've got a table or something to hold onto a counter, take your right ankle to your left knee. We're gonna send our hips back. You can also place your hands on your shin. It's also an option or fingers on a wall, but we're sending those hips back. Think of pushing your right knee down towards the ground to help open up that hip. Nice, gentle breath in, exhale, let it go, good. And then if you were sitting down, it would look very similar. We would just take that ankle towards your knee and then gently hinge forward. We're not trying to round down, we're staying lifted from that spine. So you can find which option works best for you. We're just gonna take two more breaths here. The most important thing is listening to your body and seeing what muscles you're feeling, what muscles you're not. What's the difference, left side, right side? Good. Last one here. And then come all the way back up and we'll just switch. So take that left ankle to your right knee. Send those hips way back. Maybe the hands come down towards your shin. You can hold on to something. Finger on a wall. We're just trying to open up those hips. Use the breath, trying not to grip or hold anything really tight. Nice work. We've got one more here. Awesome job. Okay, come all the way back up. We've got one more for our mid-back and our neck here. So we'll take our hands, option, you can place those hands behind your back, or you could interlace your hands behind your back. We're gonna be very careful not to overarch from our back. Think of lengthening that tailbone down towards the ground, rib cage stays over our pelvis, and we're broadening and opening through the front of our chest. Nice, gentle breath in here. 
Keep opening through the chest, lift out of the waist. We're gonna scoot our hands over towards the left hand side and then gently drop your left ear to your left shoulder. This might be a big enough stretch right here that you're feeling all along this right side or maybe you play with gently nodding yes or no. Opening up the neck, keep broadening those collarbones, tailbone reaching towards the ground. Good for three, two, last one. Lift, come back up, and then we'll switch over towards the other side. Open through that chest. Drop right ear, right shoulder. And then if you wanted to add on just that gentle nod, yes. Moving in and moving out. Good. You've got three, two, last one. Come back up. Keep those arms behind. Open up one more time. Nice big breath in. Maybe you gaze up at the sky. Exhale, slowly let it go. Bring those arms back down by your side and just check in, see how everything's feeling. We loosened up our mid backs. We got our hips and the back of our thighs really targeted all those major areas that can be affected when we are traveling or just feeling stiff and tight. So keep up the good work. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It helps share it with other people. And I would love to know down below in the comments where is your favorite place to travel? Keep up the good work. Until next time, namaste.